I'm Helen Fellers. I'm known as the Reading Rooster. And today, the Reading Rooster reads. And the book is called, Twas a Night Before Thanksgiving, Story and Pictures by Dave Pilkey. This is hilarious and would be a great one for a teacher or anyone to read. Twas the night, the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins in hopes that a field trip soon would begin. They sang as they rode through the autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. O'er rivers through woods with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on the new fallen leaves. When out on the road there arose such a clatter, they threw open the windows to see what was the matter, when what with their wondering eyes should appear but a miniature farm with eight tiny turkeys. And a little old man, so lively and rugged, they knew in a moment it was Farmer McNugget. He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of velcro. And then in the twinkling they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, their cockerels they came, he whistled and shouted, and he called them by name. Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry, now Mo, on Wally, on Beaver, on Shep, on Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beak faces, and they greeted the children with downy embraces. So out through the barnyard they ran and they flew. They gobbled and giggled, as friends often do. Then someone spotted the axe by the door. <gasps> she asked Farmer Nugget, what was it for? With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Tonight, said Mac Nugget, those feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted. The Thanksgiving feast. Oh, the children stood still, tears in their eyes, and they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Oh dear, said McNugget, what shall we do? And he dashed to the well, and the teacher went too. And they fletched some water, fresh from the ground, in hopes that a squig might calm everyone down. And when they returned to quiet the matter, the children were much calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay, and they thanked old McNugget, and they waddled away. They limped to the school bus all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then as the school bus drove off in the night, McNugget looked around, and there wasn't a turkey in sight. Twas the night before Thanksgiving, the stars up above shone down on that school bus, abounding with love. The merry next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys, but they were there as guests. They feast on veggies, jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful, the turkeys the most. So each one gave thanks for love and for living and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. So keep reading.